Hello, my friends, it's Chris the BSC. Hope everybody's doing great out there, having a great morning so far. But I wanted to give you this kind of breaking news here. Queen Studios has revealed the quarter scale Scarlet Witch. And as you can see, the edition size is only going to be 300 which is an incredibly low ES, but I did want to share my thoughts and opinions on this piece. And again, this is a full reveal, um, and it's very exciting anytime we get to see new characters, obviously, and this again is the Scarlet Witch quarter scale. And is this Elizabeth Olsen though? That is the real question. Um, some people already in the community have said, I don't see her at all. I disagree with that. I do see her, although I don't think it's perfect quite yet. I do hope that they tweak it just a little bit. And Queen Studios has been known to do that, to listen to fan feedback. And I think that they will definitely tweak it. Uh, you know, at least that is my opinion. I think that they will, but I think they're real close. I think this one looks really, really good. And I've been really impressed with their movie pieces overall here lately, especially like with their Loki recently. So is that Elizabeth Olsen? I think it's like 80% there. I don't think we're quite there. I think depending on the angle, but it's close. Um, you know, I think you can definitely tell it's her, um, but you know, again, is it perfect? No. Um, and again, we all see actors in different ways, actresses in different ways, the way we view them. So, you know, I might think she's perfect, but the person right next to me might say, you know, that looks nothing like her. So it's funny sometimes how we do that. But I do think that it's close. I think the eyes are good. I think maybe it's just like maybe like the nose, kind of the bottom of the nose down that might need to be tweaked just a little bit. But overall, I do think that she's getting there. Like, like that, I think, looks even better. And I think because her head's kind of tilted down a little bit. So again, I think that this is probably going to be a work in progress for them, but I do think it's, I think it's her. I think the character looks good. I like the pose. I think the costuming looks good. The base looks cool. So anyway, I'm curious though, as to what you guys think with this kind of breaking news. What do you guys think of this portrait? Now that we've kind of seen a close up of it, obviously it's going to have that rooted hair. They do use polystone at Queen Studios, uh, at least for the most part on these. And so this is obviously going to be an attached like wig thing that they've done. And they've been very successful at doing it. It always looks very, very good, as you guys know that I have the Joker. But anyway, what do you guys think of this piece? I'm curious as to what you think. I think it looks cool. I think it needs a little bit of tweaking, maybe 20% of tweaking with the face. But I do think once they get there, they're going to have a big hit on their hands. Um, price point, we don't know yet. Um, you know, Loki was pretty expensive for a quarter scale. Uh, it might seem to be kind of the new price point at the over thousand dollar mark. Uh, I'm assuming that she probably will be as well. Time will tell. Um, but anyway, I think she's cool. But again, I really do want to know what you guys think. Um, is this something that you would be interested in picking up? Do you agree with me on the portrait being at like 80% or do you think it's less than that or more than that? Again, I always like to read your comments. So please leave them down in the comments down below. Otherwise, just thank you guys for you know checking out this little breaking news. I thought you might enjoy these images today. And again, thank you guys so very much for your continued support here on the channel. I love you all. I'll see you soon right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.